Hello, in this video I'm going to quickly go through some of the basic um, tools and procedures you need to follow um, for laser cutting when using Adobe Illustrator. So to get started we're going to create a new document. So in Illustrator just go File and New. And the laser cutter um, that I'm using um, is basically the size of the plate is around about 16 by 12 inches. So that's the size um, that we can set for the document. But we're going to use millimeters um, for the units in this document. So that works out to roughly around about 400 by 300 millimeters. So give your document a name, um, just like my drawing, something like that. Set the width and height and select the units. Um, it should pretty much look like this. So 400 by 300 millimeters. Make sure that units are set to millimeters. You can change the orientation so you can set it to portrait or landscape like I have mine set to um, and that's basically all you need to do for the size. Um, make sure also that you set the color mode to RGB. Okay so change color mode to RGB and select OK. If you forget to change the color mode um, to RGB you can go to file and you can go to document color mode and change it from there. You can also go back to document setup and if you need to change the size of um, your artboard, then you can go to edit artboards and specify the uh, width and the height there as well. Okay. All right. Now, um, basically, um, there's a few procedures that you need to follow here to make sure that the colors are right for whether you're wanting to engrave or whether you're wanting to um, mark or uh, actually cut with the laser cutter. So um, whatever you use, whether it's a line, or um, line tool or the pencil tool or the um, rectangle tool or anything like that you need to make sure that you've set the correct colors so and same with the um, the weight the weight needs to also be correct okay so basically if I create a line here and I want this line to cut on the laser cutter then what I need to do is make sure that the fill color is set to no fill or none so it's got a little red bar going through a white box there. So no fill color, but I need to change the stroke color to RGB red. Now, if you move your mouse over these default colors here, you'll see that it's CMYK red, not RGB red. Okay, so to make sure that we choose RGB red, we can go down to the swatch libraries menu here and change the swatch by going to default swatches and basic RGB. And now we're going to use this swatch instead. All right, now if we move our mouse over this red color here, you'll see that it's RGB red. So we'll change this line here to RGB red. You can see now that that's a red line. Okay, if we select that line, we also need to make sure that we change the stroke weight. So one point, um, that's not going to work with the laser cutter. It needs to be um, less than that. So it needs to be a very thin line. What we can do is just type in here in the stroke weight box, we can just change that to 0 0.001, okay? Now you can barely see that line, it's a very faint line, but you can't have one point or higher, you can't have um, really thick lines with the laser cutter when you're working with actual cutting lines or marking lines, it needs to be much less than that. So just set it to something like 0 0.001 for the weight. Okay, same with uh, any other shapes like rectangles or circles, um, make sure that if you're just wanting to cut out that shape that you only use a stroke color and if you're wanting to cut that it's uh, red and it has a thickness of 0 0.001 and make sure that it does not have a fill color. If you want to engrave something, so if you want to um, engrave um, a solid line or a filled shape. So say you wanted to engrave um, an oval shape, then you could change the uh, fill color to RGB black. So make sure you use the, um, oops, actually we'll select the fill color box down here and we'll change that to RGB black from that RGB swatch there. Okay, at the moment this has a black fill color we can change the stroke color down here rather than doing it up here. We can change that to um, no fill. We can do it down here. We can change it to no fill. 
All right, so basically what that will do is it will engrave an oval um, or an ellipse shape. Um, it will engrave that whole entire filled shape, all right? But it won't cut out around the edge or anything like that. It's just filling. Okay, so to fill, you need to set the fill color to RGB black. To cut, you need to set the stroke color to RGB red and a line thickness of 0 0.001. If you want to mark, so this is similar to engraving, but it's just a faint marking. So not cutting, not engraving, but marking lines. Then um, on your lines, you need to basically set the fill color to no fill. So you can either do it up here on this toolbar or down here on this toolbar and set the stroke color to RGB blue. Okay. So any lines that, uh, whether it's using the pen tool or a shape tool or a pencil tool, any lines that are in RGB blue and have a stroke weight of 0 0.001, those will be marked. So or mark on whatever material you're using, whether it's plastic or timber. Okay. Um, now notice I've set this line here to 0 0.001, but I forgot to actually set these ones here. So I can hold down shift and select them individually. And then I can go up to the stroke weight and type in 0 0.001 and hit enter there. And now all of these lines have the correct um, correct weight or the correct line thickness. So um, quick overview for engraving field shapes or for engraving text, set the field color to RGB black. For marking, set the stroke color to RGB blue and the line thickness to 0 0.001. And for cutting, set the stroke color to RGB red and the line thickness to 0 0.001. Okay, um, those are the main things that you need to remember. So just remember, set up when you set up the document, make sure you give it the right size to work with. Make sure you set the document color mode to RGB um, color, and make sure that you're using the RGB swatch. So RGB red, RGB blue, and RGB black, or just black. Okay. Um, one last thing I'll go through is text. So if you're wanting to um, engrave or cut or mark text, you can use the type tool and you can type in your text and we'll select that and make it bigger, maybe even bigger than that. All right. Now at the moment, this is, um, it has a fill color of black and a stroke color of no no stroke or none, no color. So what that will do at the moment is it will engrave the word hello. So it'll engrave this. Might just make that a bit bigger. So that's going to be engraved at the moment. If instead of engraving, I want to cut out um, this shape or this, this word, then what I need to do is set the fill color to none and I need to change the stroke color. Okay, so the stroke color I can change to red and now it has an outline of red. Okay. If I wanted to mark, then I'd have to change the um, stroke color to blue or RGB blue. Okay. Um, you can actually um, work with text here in another way. So if I click on object and expand while that text is selected and click on OK, that allows me to work with individual letters and individual parts of letters here. So I could join letters together. Um, I could um, stretch out different parts of letters. So using the direct selection tool, I could click on anchor points. Whoops, just deselect that shape and hover over it. Click on an anchor point and drag it out. Okay. Um, or any anchor point or any handle there. So you can edit this text. If there's any gaps in the letters, you can join them together. So that's basically how to modify text using the direct selection tool. And if you want to add extra handle points or ex sorry, extra anchor points here to modify, then just grab the pen tool and click on different points and you can add extra anchor points and then um, manipulate those with the direct selection tool. All right. Um, so at the moment, this is blue and it's actually, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. It's actually stroke 
weight of one, so that actually needs to be changed to 0 0.001 um, to work with marking or to work with engraving if I change the stroke color to RGB red. Okay, it looks very faint, but when you zoom in, you can see that the line is still there, it still exists. So the laser cutter will see that line and it will, um, because it's red at the moment, it will actually cut that line or whatever, whatever material you have. Um, sorry, if you have a line here and you draw another line on top of it and you make it white, oops, just need to move that on top now. And maybe change the thickness. All right, now, so what I've just done is I've drawn a white line and I've placed it on top of this text here so that it's in front of the red lines, okay? Now, don't think that it won't actually cut this area here, that it's gonna leave it. It actually will, because there is a red line behind it and the laser cutter will know that that red line still exists. So you can't just hide lines with other lines or shapes on top of it. If you want to get rid of this part of the line here and you don't want it to be cut, then what you'd need to do is either use the eraser tool, which isn't working so well in this situation. Um, what you might be better off doing is using the pen tool to um, add anchor points or delete anchor points. And then delete that section. That, oops. <laughs> So we'll add an anchor point there and we'll add an anchor point here. And now if we select this area here, we can grab the scissor tool, change the eraser tool to the scissor tool. We can select that anchor, we can select that anchor, and now we can delete that section there. So you're better off using um, the pen tool and the scissor tool to delete different points rather than just trying to hide um, lines by putting other white lines over it, okay? Um, the laser cutter will see all of the lines there, whether they're on underneath other lines or not. It will see everything. Okay, so that's basically how to use Adobe Illustrator to set up a document um, to work with the laser cutter. Thanks for watching.